This is Public Safety in Focus. Campfires can turn tragic in an instant. Just ask Jessica Patterson. The burn survivor's story is a good reminder about the importance of recreational fire safety, especially as we inch closer to the 4th of July holiday. My burns are a blessing and a curse. You get asked constantly what happened, how it happened, and you just get the looks every single day. And it's all because gas and fire just does not mix. And it's never a good idea. Jessica survived third degree burns after someone dumped gasoline on an outdoor fire. Use kindling or other materials to start your fire, like newspaper. Do not use gasoline or lighter fluid. During the two-week extra enforcement click it or ticket wave, officers, deputies, and troopers from more than 300 agencies reported 6,684 seatbelt citations and 147 child seat violations. I had fractions of a second when I saw that car coming at me, and there was no way that I would be able to reach over my left shoulder and pull that seatbelt on and click it on moments before impact. There's, there was not a chance. My only thought at that time was, how do I steer away from this person coming at me? That was it, that's all I had. There was no time to actually put my brain into motion and move that steering wheel to do anything. So for those that think you're gonna get it on fast, you're not. Sergeant Mike Krakowski knows the importance of wearing his belt. His squad was hit in Lakeville when a vehicle veered off of I-35, went through the freeway fence and struck the trooper squad head on. Sergeant Krakowski's feet and arm were broken in the crash, but he says his wife would be planning his funeral had he not buckled up. Expect the unexpected by always buckling up. Planning for a disaster can help save Minnesota lives if an event ever takes place. The annual radiological preparedness drill brought together more than 200 state, federal, county, and city responders, along with volunteer agencies and XL Energy. The two-day drill in the State Emergency Operations Center and in and around the Prairie Island Nuclear Generating Facility simulates an emergency at the Prairie Island plant and helps responders be ready in the likely event of an emergency. Text to 911 has proven to be a valuable service during its first six months. In that time, dispatchers have received more than 2,000 texts statewide. That's an average of 340 texts every month. The service is a direct benefit for the deaf and hard of hearing community, but dispatchers report that people who are unable to speak because of panic attacks, asthma attacks, and domestic disputes are also using text to 911. Remember, call if you can, text if you can't. Governor Mark Dayton has issued state disaster declarations for five Minnesota counties. The decision allows counties to be reimbursed for repair and recovery costs following several severe storms. Winter storms left behind an estimated $1.4 million in eligible damages in Nobles, Rock, and St. Louis counties. Rapid snowmelt led to an estimated $256,000 in flood damage in Lacquaparo and Marshall counties. HSEM recovery teams will facilitate the reimbursement process for those five counties. And that's Public Safety in Focus.